G'day, this is Alistair Christie. Um, I've nominated myself to be one of the speakers at this year's Code Rage, scheduled in December, which currently is a few months away. Um, I'll probably be doing a couple of topics, one of which will be 100 IDE hints and tips, the challenging part to come up with 100 non-obvious but useful hints and tips. However, when doing this presentation, I'll want to um, be able to record what hint I'm up to. The easiest way to do this would be to write a little utility to keep track of the count. It will display the current count and give me, give me the ability to increment the count. So let's write this utility now. So I have here a new VCL forms application and onto it add a speed button and align that left. And add a panel and align that client. So I'm going to call this one. Count SB add hint. Um, no, let's go make that one subtract. I have subtract on the left. And SB. Okay, let's make the fonts bigger. Oops. Okay, something like that. Um, let's call the caption on the form, and that's pretty much our user interface um, set up, uh, although that font can be a little bit bigger. Okay, now on the form we're going to need to add a property. If we come down to the public section and add a property, hint account integer, and I did, uh, control shift C for the class completion, and P hint account. Okay, so in the constructor, we want to assign the count to zero on create. Here it is, there we go. Okay, if we now run that, add hints and remove hints, hopefully we'll just be adding them. OK, 
Okay. In addition to that, let's go back to the form and make the border get a tool window and on a snap, window snap. What's it called? Screen snap. And if we run that now, and I can check that at the edges of the screen quite easily. And that's pretty much our application written. Um, we could do a few, few more things by limiting the, the um, uh, not going to go below zero. In fact, let's do that. This is pretty simple. Um, the easiest way to do that would be to add the math unit. So I could do a, um, a um, if count is less than zero, set it to zero. But I can. It's much easier just to go to set the max zero uh, let's run that hopefully if I'm so go plus but can't can't go below zero anymore um, and I think I can stop there that's probably all we need except that um, we want it to always be on top don't we so that we can access it so it's form style stay on top and run that and if we go to our IDE or whatever we can do our or I can do my hints and increment them as we go through them so that's now it I hope um, um, yeah end of application hopefully this utility could have been written in many ways. I could have done away with the buttons and just had left click to increment, right to decrement, for instance. Uh, I was also going to de demonstrate alpha blending. Uh, when the mouse was away from the utility, it would be translucent. When the mouse was over it, it would be solid. Uh, this worked fine when recording with Camtasia. Uh, it looked perfect when recording, um, but on playback, the form was just non-existent, wasn't there at all. So it didn't work very well, so you didn't get to see that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Look out for my contribution to Code Rage between December 1 and 5, 2008.